It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the motherfucking brilliant idiots, and uh, we don't have any pre-roll, so we can just get right to it. We don't do pre-rolls now, we just do mids. Oh, we don't do pre's no nah, more. Nah, we get right into it, bro. Why? Is that no like saliva. pre-cum? No saliva. Say no, what? No pre-cum? No pre-cum. Because the coronavirus trying to stay, stay low on fluids. That's what you got to do, bro. Got you, Come got on. you. Okay, let's get into Positively Brilliant then. Um, this is a segment that we do. And so I'm only explaining it because it's only the third time we, we, we've we done it. So mm-hmm. it's a segment where we start off the show saying what we thought was Positively Brilliant this week and also what a fucking idiot, what we thought was idiotic this week. So the yeah. things we think were brilliant this week, the things we think were idiotic. What did you see this week you thought was brilliant, Schultz? Dude, you know what I thought was brilliant? Talk to me. Um, I just thought it was absolutely brilliant seeing all these uh, Democratic hopefuls just fold under the pressure of 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 power. You know, and seeing like guys like Andrew Yang who are like, "We're running an independent campaign and we're changing America," and then the powers that be go and they go, "Hey, buddy, do you want a little position in the cabinet or something? Yeah, well, that'd be cool. Well, why don't you tell all your people to vote for Joe Biden? Oh, yes. I don't know if they're yes, giving a position in the cabinet." We're, you know what I'm saying? They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, would yeah, you yeah. like a political career? Yes. Well, our 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 career as a commentator. Say what? Our career as a commentator. You know what I'm saying? But a career as a commentator. You think CNN put the pressure? I mean, think about CNN is a very liberal network. So if you just got you a job on CNN and you Andrew Yang, why Ooh. not go? Why not double all the way down and hey, I'm Ooh. full then, baby. <laughs> don't don't get it fucked up that I endorsed Bernie in 2016. <laughs> okay, I'm full them. I'm part of the establishment. Interesting. I'm just saying, maybe you know. Um, I thought it was interesting too. I actually, I don't mind it because I mean, if you want to win, you got to do what you got to do. What they they always say, Republicans fall in line, Democrats fall in love. So it was kind of interesting to see a lot of the Dems fall in line for once. Ooh, falling in they line. They did. I mean, it started with. It started in South Carolina, you know, when, when you know, Jim Clyburn endorsed Joe Biden and then, you know, Mayor Pete dropped out and Amy Klobuchar dropped out. Like, that yeah. was all really the catalyst to give Joe Biden Joe that Biden big Super Tuesday yeah. win. So, I mean... What's Elizabeth Warren up to? Um, I haven't heard from Elizabeth. She hasn't even endorsed anybody. I know. What a, I mean, brilliant, right? She dropped out. She hasn't endorsed like nobody. I, I saw something yesterday. True, true, truly cares about the people, doesn't she? I Fighting for the people. I, I, it's tough for her because she fought, her policies fall in line more Bernie. with Bernie. So do but it. But nobody right. can't win. Why not? Maybe the both of you can put it together and make it happen. Nah, you Bernie knew she win, knew she bro. couldn't win. That didn't stop her. Bernie can't win. Bernie can't win because he's not leaning into the Larry David angle, bro. I'm telling you, man. I promise you, man. If he leans into the Larry David angle and he just does a commercial where he says, America, you don't let them curb your enthusiasm for voting for me, he'll fuck it'll do something. Da-da, like, da-da, think about how everybody, think about how everybody da-da, jerked their dicks to that goddamn SNL TikTok. What's the shit called that your kids shit are doing? That was so insulting, dude. What are you doing? What your kids are doing? TikTok. TikTok. Nah, some shit. This oh, the switch challenge. There you go. Yeah, the flip the switch. Challenge. Imagine the people love that shit. Like, yeah, but like, wouldn't you be insulted by that? Like, wouldn't you if if you were someone who really cared about the values and really supported her and donated tons of money to her campaign and tweeted about her every single day and campaigned for her and you know that there's another candidate out there that mirrors her values and she's out there doing a fucking TikTok challenge <laughs> on SNL, you fucking idiot. I would be so pissed off. You hate it's Elizabeth indo- Warren. Yo, because she's hey, a you phony. Idiot. You mad crazy idiot. <laughs> Yo, that's good. That's good. No, I hate, you know what I mean? It's like, I love I hate, how this segment goes from brilliant to who's the idiot just that fast. Because <laughs> it's a fine line. <laughs> no, nah, because I hate phony. It's like, you gotta be if if you really want to help people, you really want to do something. You gotta be willing to she lose everything. Have the candidate. Lose everything, man. Put it on the, the fucking line, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Now she's a person who may fall more in line with Bernie, but won't endorse Bernie because she may get a cabinet position. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like she may get a place in the White House, mm-hmm. possibly. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've even heard her I've talked to her being a running mate. I don't think so. Um, only because when you are the Democratic Party and the Democratic Party after Barack should have gotten browner and blacker and younger and and, and more diverse gender wise. If you are old white man, you can't have an old white woman on your ticket. 
What's wrong with old white guys? Nah, it's because it, it represents. I hear this argument. They're I'll old and white. We talk about diversity of. When an old white guy invents the cure for the fucking coronavirus, everybody's gonna be all good with so old he, white he guys. Has no idea what the coronavirus is. It's just like Billy D. Williams didn't know what gender fluid was. He don't know about these new diseases. He still tri- he skipped syphilis. Let him deal with syphilis. Shit that needs penicillin. He don't know what the fuck to do with no coronavirus. Bro, what is gender? Joe Biden fluid? might have it. <laughs> Joe is, Biden was coughing during his Fox interview so fucking son, much, and that shit was pre-recorded. Son, that shit was. <laughs> don't get me started on. Don't get me started on Joe. By Biden. the way, you want to know what's wrong don't with old white guys? On, They're dying from the coronavirus. Son. All right, you don't want no fucking seventy-eight year old president. Is that why China made it to take away Maybe. all the presidential candidates? Yo, what if that, that shit backfired? What it. if China was trying to help the Democrats? Right? They're yo. like, yo, Russia's helping the Republicans. We gonna help the Dems. What are we gonna do? We're gonna create this little disease. Yeah. It's going to get over to America. It's going to cause the stock market and shit to crash. Trump loves to talk about his motherfucking economy. Yeah. What happens when your economy's in the toilet because it's coronavirus. But you forgot. What? Your two dim candidates are 78 years old. <laughs> Whatever you put in that shit, that little ingredient with that goddamn Goya and that little spice Dim's is causing up? the old people to die. Wait, Goya? I don't know. I'm just talking about wait, wait. Asian? Are we talking about Asians? <laughs> Who are we talking about? Spanish? Asians? Corona? What's it's happening? It's called Corona. It's called Corona. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. They put a little Goya in it. <laughs> What's Goya? It's named after Corona. It's a, it's a, a Latino spice. Right, Alex? Yes, it's a Latino Goya? spice. Goya? Yes, it's called Goya. We got a real Latino here. <laughs> we don't even need to ask Alex. Adobo? Okay, you put a little Goya. Adobo, not a little Adobo. Goya. Goya, Goya too? the beans, motherfucker. No. It's a, it's a, no, it's a seasoning. Yes, they do. It's a seasoning. Stop it. You put a little Goya in Stop the Corona. It. I will use Laurie's. This is how they make Corona bars. <laughs> they, with a W. They take, you know a, I mean? they take the beer. Me no want no Goya. <laughs> yes, they Me take, want the Laurie's season they, Nah, fuck the Laurie's. They take the beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a little goy in it, a little adobo, a yeah. little sasson. Okay, <laughs> right. a little fabuloso. Clean it up. Next thing you know, you got some shit that you can't fucking cure. This is all gonna come back to Mexico, baby. Watch, Donald Trump is gonna find a way to blame this shit on Mexico. That's why he named the Corona. I saw Charlie Kirk yesterday say, "This is why we gotta build the wall." I was like, "Well, what the fuck does the wall have to do with anything?" Yeah, China got like a wall. This? China has a wall. <laughs> them. Has a wall. That shit hopped they right over that, that goddamn wall. He coughed that shit right over. All I'm saying is the two Democratic candidates are 78 years old. Yeah. Those are the people that are dying from Corona. The president's 78. Or how old is Oof. the president? 70. Trump is up there. Trump's like 77, Something 78. Like yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and Trump been in contact with two people who got the goddamn CPAC? quarantined. Got quarantined. He, got C- he was at CPAC. There was one person there. Yep. And they haven't released who that is. Release it. What are we talking about here? If you know who has it, release it. I think that is brilliant. The marketing campaign that coronavirus got, bro. Hold on. What? <laughs> is that a marketing campaign for yes, this thing? Who's bro. behind this? I have no idea, but they're getting better. They they're getting marketed better than diseases that are actually killing people at a higher rate. Ooh, let's think. Let's talk about America for a second. Yes, right? diabetes. If people took diabetes. If seriously they're taking coronavirus, they'd stop mm-hmm. eating motherfucking sugar and they'd work out more. That's right. If people took fucking heart disease, which is killing way more people than goddamn coronavirus, and seriously they took coronavirus, they'd be motherfucking exercising and working out more. Right. HIV AIDS. Is that around? Oh, yeah. You done forgot about that shit. I did. One person gets it and, and, and fucking gets cured. Magic Johnson. Yeah. And America's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go raw again. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. The flu <laughs> yes. kills way more people than coronavirus. I understand coronavirus is, you know, doubling every day. It's brand people new. Are That's it. the brand thing. It's new, brand new. But yeah, come yeah. on. This is, the, this is like a new pair of Jordans, bro. Yeah. It's like we've seen this before. Yeah. We've seen Ebola. We've seen SARS and Zika and fuck all that other shit. It's like, why are we freaking out over coronavirus? The marketing campaign behind coronavirus is incredible. Why do you think it's so different? I really don't know. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that uh, I think it is something to the fact that a lot of these diseases come out during election years. Mm. And I think that especially now with the fact that it's causing the stock market to crash, mm. it causes the economy to look bad. So I think that liberal media just it, it's, it's, it's they, they, liberal media They're has, jumping on it. It's good because it makes the president look bad. Yeah. It makes Donald Trump look bad. Yeah. I, think, I mean, that's just my personal opinion because I can't. I, maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Maybe I'm not taking it serious enough. Yeah. I just don't see why, what the deal is with coronavirus. Yeah. State of emergency in New York. I understand you call that because you want to get more supplies and shit like that. But it's like 17 people that have it in a city of 10 million. Now? But Chris, 17? No, and but. Then, and, 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 let's talk about your hometown, China. 
I mean, I mean, I said China. Let's talk about your hometown of China, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Wait, Chris you just called him China. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come here, Chris. I want to ask you a question. You can correct me on some things if I'm wrong. Uh, Coming to the microphone. Chris. The man we call Big Asia. Let's go. Right. Big, Big Let's Asia. Go. The general. Don't worry about Asia right now. If you want a, a reason to take a very serious look to Northern Italy right okay. now. And I've been reading a lot of interviews with doctors in Northern Italy. And it's, it's basically, no, I'm fine. I'm, it's basically at wartime levels you right now. now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where it's they're, wartime scenario. They're bringing people into hospitals and people are making judgment calls in the hallways of hospitals. You live, you die. Because it's not even about the severity of the symptoms necessarily. It's just the number of people with it. And these hospitals just aren't built to sustain that sort majority of... Majority of the people that... Tell, correct me if I'm wrong. Majority yeah. of the people in Italy who died are average age of 82. Yeah, but they're saying it's lowering. They're seeing people in their 50s, their 60s, even oh, in their okay, 20s. Okay. And the problem is... They have X amount of ICU beds. They have X amount of respirators, even less. So right now in Italy, the respirator is like gold. Like if you have a respirator, you have a shot. If that respirator is taken, it's over. So you look, you're looking at the worst possible scenario, Italy, which you should. But we also have to look at China because China started off pretty bad. And I think in the last three days, they haven't had any they deaths lying, or no bro. new cases. Right. You, can't, lying, you can't, bro. honestly. Really? Yes. It's worse. You China, can't think of anything in China. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah. So China is uh, 100% lion. They're doing the really? same thing that Russia did during Chernobyl. Remember Chernobyl was out here just fucking destroying people, killing. They were like, I think we lost 300 people. I didn't realize that until I saw the HBO special. <laughs> <laughs> That's what China's doing right now. Because really? China doesn't want to seem like it's bad. China wants to ramp back up for business. Let's go. Let's do shit. Their entire economy is going to get fucked way worse than ours. Yeah, ours is yeah, stock yeah. market. That's going to bounce back up. Let's be honest. If you look at the stock market over the last hundred years, it's continually gone up. Little fluctuations, but it continually goes up. If China can't make shit, game over, dog. So is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Are we fucked, Chris? Is it? Well, I black think, people can't get it, right? right? I don't. Believe You're that. all right, but no, uh, for real, black people can't get I it. I don't. I don't know. That's I, definitely I mean, not see, true. No. They I, said I it literally was true. saw it was about cocoa butter blocks it or something like that. What was it? Melanin. Melanin. Okay. Put a little shea butter around your nose. Yo, put the shea butter. <laughs> you're white, on your you're lips putting your spore. You're right? putting shea butter. That's goddamn thing, it. Dog. And white people don't have enough lips to stop it from getting in their mouth. That's often what happens. Is black people have enough cushion that it, the virus hits the mouth and it falls away. Look at the people who are getting taken out by Corona. Asians have no lips, right, at all. Asian, they're almost like fish. It's just open, close, right? That happens. White people getting taken out. Those Italians the Italian say, got their mouth open. Mozza, mozza. 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 Yes, yes. It's like, close your fucking mouth, Italians. <laughs> do you know what I mean? They don't get it, bro. What do you think, Chris? Anything Chris, good? I hope I'm think wrong. About it. Seriously, Chris, you think it's that serious? I think it's the most serious thing I've seen in my lifetime. Now, over can HIV, AIDS, over cancer, over heart disease, diabetes. Come on, Chris. Well, you have a chance. Well, HIV, is AIDS, this, it's its own thing. Is this real or is this... This is 1,000% real. paranoia syndrome. No, this is 1,000% real. You sure it's not JPS? I've been trying to get over the JPS, but I've I done... I know you got the JPS. I've you done a, a lot. a case of the JPS. Yeah, but, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. Why do I have JPS, right? Well, the last pandemic like this was 1918, and, and it started in Philadelphia, in South Philadelphia, where my Jewish grandfather lived with his three brothers. Because goddamn side. Two seconds ago, you were Asian. I'm giving all perspectives here. This guy. But. This guy. We get it. All his brothers died. His, both open for Christmas. His father committed suicide <laughs> afterwards. Like, <laughs> this shit is real. And it, the reason. Well, what are we supposed to do? Yeah. I'm laughing. I'll, I'm going to laugh and love. I think we got to <laughs> shut shit down. They got to close the schools, which is tough in New York City because you got 100,000 kids. But 17 people, Chris? It's, oh, no. Wow. You got to understand. It's like when you see a star in the sky, you're not seeing the star. You're seeing the reflection. It already happened. This shit isn't hitting yet. Yeah. The wave is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hasn't oh, hit yet. some Asian metaphors already right Listen. now. <laughs> no, nah, but for real, like, <laughs> you can say... Be written on a fortune cookie, right. son. <laughs> a star in the sky. That was, no, that was no, the listen. reflection. Know, hey, music, music. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he deserved to be the for nah. that. That was hard, nah. Chris. Nah. Chris, that was good. Nah, Chris, Chris, that was good, bro. Chris, that was good. I'm being honest. Chris, that was really good. Come on, son. Come on, son. Get Listen. that back. Get Listen. that. 
I thought this was brilliant this week. I don't know how, how much stock you want to take into this. Sylvia Brown. You know Sylvia Brown, Chris? Sylvia Brown is an author. She wrote a book called... Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you the name of the book real quick. I want to know what you think about this, Schultz. Because I thought this was brilliant only because, God damn it, if anything else, it was a great guess. But Sylvia Brown wrote a book called The End of Days, Predictions and Prophecies About the End of the World. And um, she wrote on page 312 of that book that came out in 2008... And around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness was spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling than the illness itself will be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then disappear completely. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know. You got to take some stock. Sometimes, you know, God put people here to deliver certain messages. Whoa. You know? And I don't know how many predictions she's gotten right. I mean, but that's a nice look. That's 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 at least a goddamn double. It may not be a home run, but no, nah, that's that's that's. You a think double. that's a home run? That's a that, that's a double. That's I a double? give it a double. That's yeah. a double. Because she wrote it in two thousand eight, and she said the year. Yeah, but you know like I mean? you said, every two years is a new one. Zika, bird flu, swine flu. That's true. That's true. You know, that's true. Um, positively brilliant. Uh, dinky one. Who's that? Dinky one is the latest dating site on the internet, and it caters to men with little dicks. Um, How big do you have to be to be in it? Well, five point five and under. They said five point five when you're erect. Five point five and Isn't under. Isn't five point five regular? No, they oh. said that's considered small. And uh, the, according to Mashable, Dinky One is a site <laughs> for people with small penises and those who are fond of them. Yeah. And it, it made me wonder. I'm like, is it people out there that really like little dicks? Maybe we've been little dick shaming a long time. Maybe we put too much emphasis on having big dicks. Well, I think there's some girls out there whose pussies can't handle big dicks. Yeah, yeah, Like, haven't yeah, yeah. you had sex with a girl who's like, oh, my God, that, that hurts? Or, yeah, because the yeah. average vagina, I think, is only, like, four inches deep or I don't something like that. understand vaginas at all, dude. <laughs> I don't get them. You're not supposed to. I don't get them because it's like, where is all this room for the baby if, if, if the dick is causing some issue? Well, maybe that's the beauty of women. Maybe they pretend to make us think that our dick hurts. So the whole time they're faking it. It's possible. I'm just saying when you see something, or maybe it's different. Maybe the in and out is different. Maybe you can push out something seven pounds, eight ounces, but you can't put something seven pounds, eight ounces in. It's like taking a shit. Ooh. Have you ever had your shit pushed in? No, but I've... You said what? Hey, 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 hey. It's all good. <laughs> Taylor said the vagina fits seven inches. Yo, but here's what I'm saying. If you do... Um, if... if like you take a big shit, yes. right? That feels great. But if you put a thermometer up your butt, ooh, yeah, you're going to get a little colonic. Or a colonic yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, horrifying. Yeah, yeah. Same thing, same exact thing. Exactly. So then, okay, so what, the butt is like a pussy. The butt is like a pussy. Gay men, we understand you. Now we get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, why? Yeah. Why do girls act like it's not? Why do they try to front like this dick can't get in there? Maybe it's the what you mean in the butt. Yeah. You are pounding it. No, I don't do that. I actually don't like that. Have you ever you tried that? No, I don't like anal sex. Anal sex is not good. Nah. I don't, do it either. don't look at me. Well, you out here lesbian. You're screaming out pound. You're getting yeah. pounded. You can't stuff labia in your butthole. All I'm saying is I think Dinky wanted... <laughs> Yo, you're a gay girl, man. It's I, all good. It is. That's, that's right. That's right. That's, right. that's, that's saying, right. How could you do that's anal, right. right? Like, what are you really going to do? I just think Dinky... put in there? I think phone? Dinky One is a great site. Um, I think it's a safe space for people with little penises. Um, and I just do. I think America's put too much motherfucking emphasis on big dicks. Right. Yeah. Look, why are you looking around like that? And well, doing no, this? I need you to spread the angle because you can't otherwise, do that when we're talking about dicks thing, and assholes, bro. You just the, looked at Alex and go, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> like, don't do that. No, no, what, <laughs> so what Alex is trying to do is get us both in the frame. What I'm trying to explain to him, oh. what I'm trying to explain to him is that if I go anymore this way, then we're blocked by the microphone, and then the microphone's going to move, and it's a whole situation. And Dinky Doesn't One now matter. has twenty seven thousand users, mm -hmm. and um, and and five point five is considered small. Five point five on hard. Did y'all not? Did y'all not watch Howard Stern growing up? But he always talked about having a little dick. That was like three or something. Like yeah, that. I yeah, thought yeah. five. Look up the average size dick. It's look up the inch? average size. The average dick. size is not seven. It's five. The average size is not seven. I think the average, the average size, size dick is. The average size, is 3 .5. The average size penis is three point five. Want a hard hard dick. dick. Yeah, we want hard dick. <laughs> you want hard dick. Think, you think we dick want soft dick? dick. What the fuck is wrong with you? Busted asking? right inside him, and he can't extend on me anymore, and he seems a little overwhelmed <laughs> by my girth and time. I cannot and believe you would ask us happened. what we want hard dicks. Dude. Five is the Five is five the, is the five. I told you. 
Think about it. Now, five you is small. It's small. Come on, give me, give me. Give, give, I need to see what five looks like. Give me a rule. Who got a rule? <sighs> Let me find. I guess. <laughs> 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 Who got a rule? Somebody got to have some measurements. They don't have no rulers on the computers. They have it on iPhone. Come on, show me how. Show me how long five inches. Oh, how long? How big is an iPhone? How big is an iPhone 7 Plus or 10 Plus? I used to, all right, a thumb used to be an inch. Let me see. One. No, a thumb is more it's than It's not no more? <laughs> thumb is more than In than kindergarten, they taught that. Measure app? Come on, Taylor. Come on, dog. We don't know how to do that. We all over here, you get, paid, you get paid the big bucks to do this type of stuff. Come on. A 10 Plus is 6.5? So a 10 Plus is 6.5 inches, okay? My dick way longer than this, bro. No. This is 5.5 inch screen? So my, my dick is bigger than this. No, my dick way longer than this. I know because I've put it next to it. I've definitely done that. My dick is way longer than. And what do you do? You just have the top kind. I do of that all the time. Over. I mean, I don't know why. I've been doing that since I was a kid. Like you take that, you put the remote by it, yeah. put a bottle by it, just to see. Because I think that when we're looking down at our penises, yeah. we don't see them the way everybody else sees them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a woman's looking at your penis from a different angle. So like, like, put it, like, do like this, right? Yeah. When you do like this, yeah. that don't look that big to you because you're so far from it. Yeah, and I don't see all this. Ah, uh, because the pubic saying? hair is in the way. But when I turn it to the side, <laughs> and you get the profile, imagine a girl seeing yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit can scare some people. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Especially if it scares yeah. you, go to dinkyone.com. dot com. So, so we'll get you a little. Five and a half, five and a half. That's five and a half inches. Let me see that. That right shit look little, bro. Let me see right there. And that shit's hard, bro. Hold on. So yeah, that is. Yeah, you don't want that. If a girl can fucking abracadabra your shit with two hands, you don't want that shit, yeah. bro. You need, to have, little, you need to come out on the top afterwards. Yeah, man. She got to look like a rapper hole in a microphone, B. <laughs> like, you don't want that, bro. Taylor, put both your hands on around that. See if you can make it disappear. Holy shit. Yeah, you don't want the five, five and a half, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, need to be nah. on dinky1.com. You might have to go to Dinky One. Anybody else in the room need to go on Dinky One? <laughs> <laughs> Sign up now. Okay. Uh, Yo, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, we're not saying oh, that, bro. Just, you were just, just quiet. Yeah, you were just, just quiet. I just put it out there. Ed, how many, how many inches is your dick? Oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo. You out here just saying everything. What? That's what I'm talking about. Honesty, bro. Yeah, you Honesty, to, yeah, dog. You got to find somebody that loves you for you, bro. Dude. <laughs> That's it. Now, do they have like, do they have a tiny pussy website too? Dinky, <laughs> does Dinky one have tiny pussy or big pussies? No, they are there, got a, they are got there a, girls with big pussies out there that need love? No, they got a tiny butthole one called Dookie one. Do they? <laughs> it's for tiny buttholes. It's called Dookie one. <laughs> for those with shallow buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Taylor. <laughs> yes, Taylor. Size to me doesn't matter. Necessarily, you were just, necessarily, you were just Five, criticizing. It's small to me, but you're small. I've, but I'm <laughs> saying if it's like maybe seven inches, because that's technically small to some girls too. I'm fine with that. You just have to learn how to. Seven is small. Yo, you girls are crazy, <laughs> B. You girls are crazy. I'm seven, seven and three fourths. Eight when it's warm. Seven <laughs> inches. That's seven. I, all I know is that both my hands go on it and the top comes out. <laughs> my dick look I'm, like the I'm, dude I'm from at, Home I'm, Improvement. I got, a pure, I got a pure life. On the other side of the fence. I got a pure life penis. <laughs> Say what? I got a pure life penis. I'm a, this, I'm, it's not this whiff. That's crazy. No, I don't have this whiff. Nah, you could touch your fingers. <laughs> if it's this skinny too, that's a problem. Yeah, nah. but you can, can you you can touch your fingers right on the other. I'm girthy though. You are. Yeah, I'm, my penis looks like me. <laughs> It does. Discolored? <laughs> yes, it actually is. It actually, it actually is. There's a part. There's a, like it stops, and then it's like brown, and then it's like a brownish. Ooh, you got that pinkish. dulce de leche. To what? You got that dulce de leche. You got that chocolate fudge brownie. How long is that? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I'm bigger than that. Oh yeah. I'm bigger than that. I'm seven three four. If eight when it's warm up. Oh. All right. Um. This this could go under. This could go under the what a fucking idiot segment. Okay, um, go. I, I I have a different view of it. I can see both sides. Uh, the baby, uh, he's in trouble after slapping a female Ooh. fan. Um, I saw the video. Yeah, I saw the video too. He did apologize for it. Um, he didn't know that it was a a fan on the other end of the flashlight. I can see both sides. Um, first of all, this is what we don't understand about the baby. He knew, he, he knew it was a fan. He just didn't know it was a girl. You don't know. Listen, you don't know though, right? Like if you're walking through a club yeah. and it's dark, and somebody, somebody just, uh, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what people don't realize about the baby. The baby suffers from extreme PTSD. And I'm not no therapist. I'm not no psychiatrist. But I'm going to tell you how I can diagnose that. Right. The man in the past three years, he beat a murder charge. Mm. Somebody tried him in Walmart. He had to kill a man in self-defense in a Walmart. Right? Mm. Walmart parking lot. Some guys ran up in his house. Mm. He had a shootout in his house. That was staying your ground. Mm. So, you know, he didn't go to jail for that. His, his father just died. So he's probably grieving the death of his father. So it's probably just a lot of anger and stuff there. Mm. You're talking about a guy who who's on a hair trigger mm. because of the things that have happened to him over the past few years. And yeah. there, there's no class for this. You understand what I'm saying? There's yeah. nobody that takes you and puts you in the classroom and deals with your trauma, deals with your triggers. Like, it's like, okay, you killed the guy? Let's go do this show. Mm. Oh, you had a shootout in your house? Cool, let's go do this show. Oh, your pops just died, but your album just went number one, so you got shows to do. He probably hasn't had a chance to grieve. And I'm not making excuses for the brother. I'm just telling you, we got to deal with the whole totality of the situation. We got to look at things in context. When you see a guy that is is that yeah. quick to pop off, yeah. he's dealing with some type of PTSD. He's always on edge. And can you blame him? No. No, I, th I think it's... I think uh, you make an interesting point. Like, this guy's in survival mode. He's in All survival mode. All the time. Mode. The question is... If you know you're in survival mode, maybe the smart decision is not to put yourself in situations where you'll need to survive. But listen, you're the baby. You don't kind of go to the club, you bro. You kind of have to. You're a brand. You don't have to walk in like that. Yeah. That's you what, could go in. That's what, you, that's what you call a walkthrough. That's what you get paid to do. They literally call that a walkthrough. You yeah. get paid 15, 20 grand to do a walkthrough. Well, don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, just I do mean, the listen, show. Like, I get it. If he's a brand new artist. Or if this was somebody like... The Migos are like somebody that's more established, been out for a while. I would get it. He's only it's literally his second year in the game. Yeah, so he's still on that ch ch chitlin circuit club yeah. run shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, Thought to say well, chicken circuit. Well, Jesus Christ! What Cardi was doing? Cardi was doing all those clubs when she first well, came out. It was well, like no, every Cardi, weekend. Yeah, she was, but then Cardi shot off so quick. Yeah, and, I mean, and she, and by the way, she's still in the club. She was in the club a couple weeks ago, and Offset did get into a fight. You know what I mean? Get so, out the club, bro. I get it. Cardi, Offset, they have no business in the club no more. Yeah. The baby, he's still on the grind. He's still on the come up. And I'm going to tell you something else. He needs taller security, bro. And I'm going to tell you why he needs taller security. When your security is so tall, they're seeing things way up here on a macro level. Yeah. Baby's down here with me. The real threats are down here. Yeah. So when you get hit with the phone, you react first because your security is looking this way. Right. They looking up. Right. Right. You right, need right. security that's your height, bro. Yeah. To see that type of stuff. No, coming. that's taller than you. You're saying. No, you need security. You need a combination of both. Okay. You can have the guy that's taller than you to see the whole macro shit, and you need guys that's around your height to see, see all of these threats that are right there. Yeah. Eye level with you. Yeah. But you know, um, the woman's got a lawyer now. And she's, she's suing. Of course. As she should. I heard her today and she was like, I got a concussion. I got motherfucking. Oh, yeah. What else did she say she had? Let me hear it. We went upstairs on the stairway to take a picture. And I see security saying, move, move. And I was standing next to a young lady. So the young lady standing to the right of me, she pulled out her camera. And I, I see her put her flash on her phone and reach up. But. I'm not for sure if she hit him with the phone or had the... I know the flash was on the phone. And all of a sudden, he smacks me. They did not offer me medical service. Oh, hold on. They gave so, me a hard time at first trying to even give me a police report. He didn't even smack the girl that hit him? No. He, I thought she said somebody else did it. No, this is someone else saying it. The moral of the story is that young lady is saying she has a concussion, a contusion, Yo, famous corona. people hit the I woke hardest, up, bro. My head was hurting you know really, really bad. And like the Stop. right, the top of my right cheekbone, it was like hurting, like it was tender. So I did go to the hospital. I love it. And I was diagnosed with a contusion Ham to my cheek. He still made a joke about it. Like yesterday, he uploaded something on his page in a, a clothing store making a joke about it. So I don't feel like, you know, he was sincere with the apology. 20, I was embarrassed. Yeah. That's 20,000. Do you know how hard, how painful it must be to get your pussy waxed? Do you know what that must be? It hurts, right? Do you think that that slap hurt hard more than getting your pussy waxed? Yes. There's no way. Yeah. There's yeah. no way. Nah, because cause, cause the wax is quick. Say again? The wax is quick. That slap. Bop. Yeah, the wax is yeah. quick and it's just hair. Like this, this hits you. 
It leaves bruises on the top. It leaves bruises on the inside. Why am I talking like I'm getting paid from this kid? I just yeah. like I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm just saying but it, it definitely hurts her. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, I'm not mad at her. The baby. Listen, at the end of the day, let's be for real. Mm-hmm. The baby still made a mistake. Because when you're in that position, even if you are dealing with the the, the PTSD and the triggers and the trauma, mm-hmm. you still can't move like that. That's what you have security for. You just don't put yourself in those situations. If you know you can't handle yourself in them, don't put yourself in them. Simple as that. If you get anxious in big crowds, don't be in big crowds. You have the ability to do that now. Yeah. Him going to that little nightclub is not what's going to propel his career, right? Him doing these viral stunts and cool videos and good songs are going to be the things that propel his career. So just focus on those things. Yeah, and it's so funny because it's just like, um, you know, that, that's not the type of... And he knows that. The baby knows that. That's not the type of gangster people respect. You know what I mean? Exactly. If, if, yeah. if they even, I don't even know if people still respect gangster in 2020, to be honest with you, because we know where the gangster leads you. But if you are going to be tough... You know what I mean? It, it's people are not going to respect it seeing you do that to a woman, even though we've seen him do that to guys too. You know what yeah. I mean? He's an equal opportunist. Okay. Oh, he's progressive. Oh no, he's an equal opportunist. He yeah. believes he believes in putting hands on both sides, baby. You know what I mean? But yeah. I don't I don't think he would have done that if he knew that was a girl. I think he does. He does what? Look at the video again. What? He stares at the person when he hits her. After he hits her. Yeah, it doesn't even. Yeah, because now I got to get the fuck out of here. Now I'm hoping nobody saw. (laughs) Listen, either way, we still got to take into account the PTSD that brother's dealing with, man. I'm telling you. Has anybody in this room ever killed somebody in self-defense? No. Okay. Has anybody in here ever been in a shootout because somebody did a home invasion on their house? No. Okay. Imagine the head trigger you would be on if those things happened to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm 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 not mad at him. Yeah. Um. Definitely what a fucking idiot. Uh, I don't know if we talked about this. No, we didn't talk about this. Brian Williams and uh, Mara Gay. I'm not going to put Mara Gay in this because she's a black woman. I'm just going to put this all on Brian Williams and the producers at MSNBC. Did you see? Oh, my God. Did you see? Oh, you my see? God, dude. <laughs> Can we play? Insert that clip, Taylor. Oh, my God. You don't have to. You, you heard it? You heard it, right? So <laughs> fucking stupid. So they go. So Bloomberg, if you play it, you can play it. But basically, Bloomberg spent $500 million yes. on his campaign. Now, the woman in the video goes, I think they're both talking about a tweet. Brian, Neither of them Brian made Brian Williams and Mara are both talking about the tweet. Brian but, brings the yeah. tweet up, and they talk about how, you know, the, the, the tweet is from a journalist named Makita Rivas, he, a journalist, yeah, who wrote that Bloomberg spent a million dollars per U.S. resident. So well, he could have gave a million dollars to every U.S. resident. Well, because there are 327 million U.S. residents. Yes. And he spent $500 million. So he could have given a million dollars to every each. U.S. resident and still had $500 million left over. It is mind-boggling how stupid you have to be to understand this math. Bro, he gave a dollar to each person, a dollar and 30 cents like or whatever it is. dollar cents or shit yeah, like that. But not, and the fact that they're talking about this on the news. MSNBC. I can tell you why, bro. Why? Social media, right? Yeah. Social media has social media has made everybody lazy learners. Right. Nobody wants to do their own research to anything. So if you see a tweet like that by a journalist named Makita Rivas who has a blue check, why would you do the math? Clearly for somebody to take the time to tweet that, yeah. they must have already did the math. Yeah. So all I want to do now is share it. Why? Because it probably reinforces a, a narrative I'm pushing about Bloomberg or reinforces a narrative I'm pushing about, you know, too much money being in politics. Whatever right. it is. Whatever it is, it just it just gives you your confirmation, the confirmation bias you're looking for. Yeah. So you just start posting that and sending it to everybody, sending it to everybody. But if you just sat back and did the math, you'd realize... No, you stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> like, no, that's not how this works. I tried to do it on the computer. I tried to do a million times 317. My computer said E. <laughs> like, it just was like E, like error, like E. Wouldn't even do this shit. So I'm just like, for that to make it to MSNBC, for Brian Wims, who, who everybody already thinks is a fucking liar anyway. Right. Nobody trusts you, Brian. Right. <laughs> All right? That's why you're on MSNBC. Yes, you used to yeah. be on NBC. You used to be, but, yeah. for, for, for it to be on... TV for it to go past all the producers and everybody and nobody catch that? Yeah. Yo, that shows how dangerous of an era we are in because of social media. Because if people see it on social media, they believe that shit, mm-hmm. bro. And they want it to be true. If you want something to be true, you don't fact check it. Mm-hmm. That's something I've realized. Even about myself, if I see a tweet somebody put out and I want it to be true, sometimes I won't even read the article. And I have to catch myself going... Don't retweet this. Yeah. You don't know if that's exactly what it says yeah. or this is messed up, et cetera. Which one? 
Oh, yeah. What did Alex send you yesterday? He sent me this thing about the trains uh, being canceled in New York because of the coronavirus. What? Where'd yeah. you get that from, Alex? No, I'll, so just... no I'll show you. And um, and it was, it was uh, wait, you sent it to all of us or just, just me? Yeah, click, click the link. So he was looking at the article, right? And uh, <laughs> that's, that's, you just say this. Show me somebody who's not on DinkyOne.com. So he sends me this big ass. He sent me this big ass. This this article. They're shutting down all the trains, etc. Right now, I just go okay. I guess they're shutting down the trains. I don't need to read the article. I don't need to yeah. click the link. So I go, oh, it's crazy. And I was like, nah, you should look up the link or something like that. And I'm like, nah, I, I believe you. I, I, I'm going to take an Uber. It's fine. And he's like, man, you're ruining this whole thing. And then Ed shows me it's just this massive dicked black guy sitting down. And his dick looked like he was sitting down too, dude. That's how massive his fucking dong was. Did you see that thing? Yeah, I saw that shit. Now, now if you've ever encountered, if you if you a woman, right, Oof. our man yeah. who likes dick and your whole life you encountered penises like that, I would see why you would go to Dinky One. Dot. Would you call that a penis? <laughs> nah, that's a cock, bro. <laughs> that's a cock. That's why they made the word. They made the word cock for dicks like that, bro. That's bro, a cock. That dick. I don't have a cock, dude. I don't. I got a dick. I got a dick. I know my limitations. I got a dick. That is a cock. Cock okay. is the top of the line, bro. Oh man, that's the big. That's the big boy cock. <laughs> that's, that's the shit. That's the big boy. That's the phantom of dicks, bro. When you got a cock. You you got you working with something, bro. I'm you telling got you. The don't let that motherfucker be circumcised. You got the phantom with the drop top in the Ooh. summer. People see you coming, they're like, oh shit. I'm telling you. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, don't say the car. Did you see topless. that shit, Taylor? Yeah, my friend said it to me. And what'd you think about it when you saw it? Okay. She don't care. If it, it don't matter a... what else that man got bro. going on in his life. Nah, be honest. That man could be a total <laughs> loser. Be honest. Bro. If he got that cock. A lot of Be honest, cock. Charlotte. What? You sent her a nice pussy. Nah, Taylor don't like big pussies. I said nice ones. Wait, what? You like Are pussy. You talk- no, I'd stop. You do this like pussy. Yeah. You spread it. You know her boyfriend got on her ass about yeah. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> her boyfriend had to find out that Taylor was a lesbian because of the brilliant idiot's fucking no! podcast. Yes. Really? Yes, man. Was he like, is that he why you- He was not that mad. Stop. Nah, he, he was, was just upset. like, just telling everybody your shit, huh? Oh, you had told him already? <laughs> yeah. Really? How'd you break that to him? I told him like, yo, so they think that I'm gay now. So he didn't. Uh, he didn't want to do nothing. He didn't want to like, yo, why don't you bring some girls over then? He be trying all the time. Whoa, he don't respect. I said you. the only person is Megan Thee Stallion. That would really? be the only person. Mm-hmm. Question: When you give him head, do you do it like this? Like, you with that Shakira? That Shakira give you that Corona now. He would knock me off. He would. Yeah, because he do what? He the baby you? Stop. He does. Stop. I can't tell if you serious or not. No, he. You really think that I would let some guy do that for real? I gotta real? see his cock. You don't know. It might be worth that it, cock yo. cock changes shit. It might be I worth it, saying. yo. It might be worth it. I don't hey, know. Real talk. I've seen girls do some dumb shit for Stop. cocks. How big Stop. is it? I've seen girls do some dumb shit for cocks, Taylor. Stop. Okay. How big is it, though? It's big. Can Stop. But can it wake you up? Yes. Does it go like this? Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Tap you on the shoulder. Is it, is, is, it, is it click on a fake link and send his picture and people be like, oh shit, big. I'm not saying anything else. Why not? <laughs> not, 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 not oh, not. Taylor like him. Not why not? Taylor really likes not him. You know why Taylor likes him? Why? When a girl likes a guy, she don't talk about his penis. Oh, because other girls. Wanna, yes, yes, Ooh, yes, yes. You yes, think some other yes, girls are yes, trying to yes, steal yes, him from yes, you? Yes, yes. Are y'all moving on to the next topic? Ooh! <laughs> Damn! Taylor want to be the only person on that dick like a goddamn plane going to Italy. You don't want nobody else. You don't want nobody else. You saved that one at the last minute, big. You saved that one at the last minute. Goddamn. His brain was working over time. Because now that goddamn phlegm was coming up at the same time. Come on, bro. We're not doing phlegm. Hey, man, you don't know what's what anymore. We're not doing phlegm I don't know right if now, I'm just, I don't know if I just, I'm just got phlegm or corona. Nah, 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 nah. All right, that's it. All right, for, what that's else? It, what else we that's got? That's it for positively brilliant. Positively, uh, what's oh, what the a name of the segment? Idiot. Yeah, what a fucking idiot. Yeah, <laughs> that's the. Yeah, we're, we're let's, done pay, for some let's, let's pay, pay some bills. Let's pay some bills out here, guys. Go. Do yourselves a favor. Just get Boost Mobile. All right. You finally have everything you want in a wireless carrier. They got no annual service contract. Boom. 
Boost Mobile offers a range of data plans and the latest phones from top brands at affordable prices. Don't you even think about cutting that out, Taylor. No, I know I saw you. I saw you. Don't you even think about it. Okay? Boost Mobile out here. Their network is super reliable. <laughs> Super fast, so you can post up and watch the game or stream Brilliant Idiots almost any time. We all know smartphones are expensive. Wouldn't it be nice to not force the family to wrestle over one phone? Step up with Boost Mobile, and you can get four free Samsung Galaxy A20 phones when you switch. And if you switch to Boost Mobile today, you'll get four lines for just $25 per month step up with boost mobile and switch today if you want a super reliable super fast nationwide network to keep you connected switch now to boost mobile limited time offer while supplies last for new customers only requires port and activation from eligible carrier one free device per line users that are using more than 35 gigabytes of data during a billing cycle may be deprioritized during times of network congestion offers and coverage not available everywhere visit boostmobile.com or retailer for full details man we might as well you know let the people know about blue chew as well man damn right you know what i'm saying blue chew this damn week's episode right. of brilliant idiots is sponsored by blue chew since we're talking about dicks mm. i think that we should do blue chew sponsorships during dick segments i think that's a great With dick idea. segments they come so like sporadically but uh let's talk but about owners won't when you have blue chew that's right you'll know exactly when it's coming that's a fact it takes a few moments to kick right in mm. uh let's talk about sex Good right. sex. Um, you can increase your performance and get the extra confidence in bed. You use blue chew on the regular, right? Come so, on, dog. Anytime I got a round two, I blue chew. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, anytime yeah. I got a round two, Come I blue on. chew. I'm Johnny Cochran you know, out Muhammad here. Muhammad Ali, a goddamn performance enhancing dick drugs. Let's go. All right? <laughs> Bluechew.com. That's blue like the color blue. Blue chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Vi- Viagra or Cialis. Now, do you think that you're too young for blue chew, Schultz? Uh, no, because... You have to use it when you need it. For okay. example, if I uh, have horrible trash dick game okay. and I don't satisfy my girl, sometimes I got to chew it back. Now, does it keep you from nutting fast or does it just get you hard after the first nut? You know what's interesting? I, it gave me control. That was the most fascinating thing about it. I thought it was just going to make, make me hard. So it makes you not want to nut? No, it gives you control. It feels amazing, but I also had some control. But obviously, the boner is there. You're yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 but for yeah. me, it's just like a fun thing. We're on vacation or something like that. I want to give my girl a, a night extra. of her. Like, that's it. I want to let extra. the people in the hotel know. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, if you recognize me on the check-in, I got to let you know. Big show to you That's there. it. We here. Presidential suite. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians. So <laughs> I mean? you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package so people won't know. Uh, and by people, I mean your significant other. No need for her to know the secrets, right? Not at all. Actually, my girl likes it. She's like, yo, you should just take it. Pop that Blue Chew. Pop that Chew. She goes, chew me out. <laughs> <laughs> right now we've got a special deal for our listeners visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special code idiots all right just pay five dollars shipping again that's b-l-u-e chew.com promo code idiots to try it free blue chew is the better cheaper faster choice and we thank them for sponsoring the brilliant idiots now Let's get into a little bucket talk. Yeah. A little deep dive. Yeah. Shit you won't care about next week, God damn it. Weinstein. That's right. Is that it? Um, Did I yeah. guess it right? Yeah, because I feel like, Fuck you know, yeah. there's other shit people won't care about next week, but I feel like we're going to spend a lot of time on this um this Weinstein thing. What are you thinking? Uh, he got 23 years. I mean, I think it makes everybody who was saying things like, what about Weinstein? I think it makes them look crazy. Um, I think that... People weren't paying attention to the Harvey Weinstein case the way that they should have. It's, it's a lot of reasons for that. I think, number one, because he's not really a celebrity. He's a guy that's always been behind the scenes. So it's not like right. it's Cosby. It's not like it's R. Kelly. It's not like it's one of these, you know, entertainers, actors, comedians that we've been seeing forever. You know what I'm saying? Even Louis C.K., you would have thought Louis C.K. raped a hundred women. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because of the way that it was. Which he did not. No, nah, he was jacking off yeah. in front of women, which is disgusting. But, yes. you, know, it's, you know, it's levels. But I'm just saying, I'm saying all that to say, Harvey, yeah. even when he was on trial, it wasn't in the news like that. Even when he was on trial, people were saying shit like, what about Weinstein? What about Weinstein? I'm like, yo, he's on trial. I got a question for you. Okay. Do we have to readjust punishment based on age? And let me follow that question up. Because the idea of spending 
time in jail, right? Is we're removing your life. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. life gets less valuable. I think when you're 80, I think you've already done all your living. All your best years are behind you. You're like, I'm going to sit in my house all day anyway. I might as well sit in this jail cell all day anyway. Like how different, and yes, they are different, mm -hmm. but how different is an old people home from a prison, you know, if you're 80 years old, well, old decrepit. Old, old, old people's home isn't a punishment. No, no, I agree. I yeah, agree. Yeah, what yeah. I'm trying to say is the older you get, a lengthy jail sentence actually becomes less of a punishment because you're not even going to make it through all the way. At 20 years old, you get 23 years, you're going to make it. At 80, you get 23, you might do five years. So do we have to rethink punishments for old people yeah. so that they fit the crime? Just rethink the name. Like if I'm Harvey Weinstein and I'm 73 years old and they give me 23 years, just be like, you're getting the rest of your life. That's it. But but then when you're a, young, you say life. <laughs> yeah, when you're but seventy, then, you say the rest of your life. Okay, rest of life. I'm yeah. just saying it's not that long a punishment. Let's say he lives five more years. That means he did all those rapes for five years. Yeah, but that sucks though. Come on, man. You spending the rest. You spending your golden years in prison. Well, like, no, you, he spent his golden years raping. Yeah, but you got to think about the life this guy lived. He's not used to that. He's by the way, he's gonna kill himself. He's going 100%. to. He's going to be the only Stein Stein that yeah. killed himself in the past two years for real. <laughs> yo, yo, Jews having a real rough year. I'm not going to blame this on being Jewish. This is just sickos. <laughs> right. a rough year. These are guys that are actually disgracing the Jewish name. They're disgracing that Stein Jewish heritage. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like he's a, he's like I I don't feel sorry for Harvey. No, and, nobody and, feels and, sorry and, for Harvey. And I don't necessarily believe in karma like I used to. Right. Um, I used to believe in karma like in a real, real way. Like, you know, if you do good, you get good back. I don't think that's how karma works. I think karma is just an action and you do good because you want to do good. But it's the same thing with bad karma, right? You're doing bad because you want to do bad. And I think the worst thing that can happen to a person is when they know better but don't do better. Mm. I refuse to believe that Harvey Weinstein at some point in his life didn't realize what he was doing was wrong, even if it was just abuse of power. I don't even know what he was doing. Like, I, I really don't know raping. enough about the case. He was, he was like holding him down and that kind of stuff, or he was saying, "Do you want this role?" No, I've heard some cases. I've heard both. Okay. Yeah, I've heard both. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to do that more often to say I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and, you know, you what don't mean? Know. like if I, I, I mean, I, I know a lot of his charges got dropped, but I just know even if it was just abuse of power, if you're making women sleep with you for roles. Whether they want to do it or you not, you can't make a woman sleep with you for a role. I, that's what we got to stop doing. You give them a doing. choice. You give them you a choice. You give a choice, and like you take that choice. Like we got to stop acting like acting is a real job. It's not a fucking real job. It's a phony, made up thing. And anybody who's trying to do it um, has an actual real job at the time. If you work at Walmart and your boss is like, "Hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to fire you unless you suck my dick," that. Is true abuse of power. It's the same thing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Go make another movie somewhere else. Don't work for the guy who does that. But but you gotta you want to get rid of that all across the board. Yes, a hundred percent. Because if you're a producer like Harvey, you're talking to other producers. He's a man at the end of the day. He's like, oh yeah, I made her suck my dick for this role. Mm. What do you think the next producer gonna do? The next producer gonna do the same exact right. thing. You know right. what I mean? Like people should be getting these jobs, these acting jobs, because they're good. On their own merit. Well, that's not why you get acting jobs. I mean, In shit. the UK, maybe, but in America, it's just like, are you good looking enough? Come on. Tom Hanks is amazing. Denzel Washington He was is handsome. Incredible. Denzel Washington was the best looking human being but in the world at a, one point. But also the best actor. He happens These to be the best. Great. That's my favorite actor. Yeah, Denzel's my favorite. I mean, and Hanks is up there, but... That being said, the majority of actors are not these amazing actors. They just look really fucking good. So we're like, okay, you can just... Re you really think... You really think these guys are like incredible actors, it most people? It depends on the role. Like Robert Downey Jr. is great as Iron Man. I can't imagine another Tony Stark's. Robert Downey Jr. is an amazing actor. There's a, I'm not saying there's not a handful of amazing actors. Yeah, I think I think there's 100%. a I think there's a I think acting is a gifted field. I'm not saying everybody's gifted. It's just mm. like music or anything else. Like you can rap. It don't mean you're gifted at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Biggie was gifted. I think that you can have gifted actors and yeah. actresses. Channing Tatum? No. <laughs> Borderline retarded. <laughs> right? He's borderline retarded, but right? But you put him in Magic Mike. He's That's made it. For that. That's he's it. Made Matthew for that. McConaughey, hell of an actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I like what he was in. Brokeback Mountain. Magic right? Mike. Matthew McConaughey? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought he was in Brokeback Mountain. Who's in Brokeback Mountain? Who's the two guys from Brokeback Mountain? Jake Gyllenhaal. There you go. And Joker. Heath, Heath Ledger. Ledger. Heath yeah. Ledger, amazing fucking actor, bro. Amazing. Also, handsome guy. Thor, handsome guy. Not an amazing actor. Thor's a good actor. He's good at Thor. I think he's good at other stuff too. I've never seen him in nothing else. I'm just lying. I'm just being a brilliant idiot right now. But it don't matter. 
Leonardo DiCaprio. Amazing actor. Amazing guy. Handsome guy. Just happens to have a face you would sit on. <laughs> what amazing actor. I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't know what to say. You finally, you outgave me, bro. You outgave me. I don't know what to do. I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio and what's eating Gilbert Grape. <laughs> Come on, Gilbert. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think that I, f f whether you work at Walmart, whether you're an actor, nobody should ever put you in a compromising position. Nobody yes. should take away your power of choice. Now, Correct. you're right. Correct. It is a choice nonetheless. You can say no. Yes. But when you're a struggling actor or you're a struggling worker at Walmart and somebody asks you to do something like that, you're like, fuck it. We have to have a different name that we make up for that because... It's abuse of power. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's abuse of power, 100%. But when you call that rape, it really takes away from what like real rape victims have been through, man. Like that, it's a very different conversation, and I think it like Maybe we it's don't disrespectful know. to them. Maybe. Let's have a different thing. You, you had a situation where your job was—I don't want to put it out there, but like your job was on the line, unless you do some things. That is true. You know what I mean? You've been not in that my situation. job now. Back in the day, no, way back in the day. Yeah, way back in the day. I've so never it's told like, that story. One day I will. One day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah, that yeah, yeah. in the pocket. I don't even know if it, I don't even know if it matters. Like nobody would give a fuck. No, nobody would give a fuck. That being said, yeah. That's actually more because you had the job already. And that's why I don't think it's a gender thing, right? I think it's just an abuse of power thing. But that's think, abuse of power. Yeah, it's not rape. You could have yeah. said no. You could have not done it. And it was a totally different thing because you were already hired. These yeah. people these people are going into this situation and they're they're having an interview with their boss. Yeah. And they're finding out that their boss is going to be the worst boss ever. In the interview, they're like, oh, you are the worst possible boss that's ever existed. Yeah. And then they go, I'll work for you. Not a good decision to be yeah. made. No, no, no. I think I'm gonna tell you what I think guys mess up at. I think guys mess up trying to define what rape is or what sexual assault is. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like only only a woman can define that. That's why I know it's so important. Yeah, you but, understand what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. if, a, if a woman tells you no, you better take that no. You can't, you know, coerce her into doing anything or give her an offer. Like if she says no, she says no. Consensual should be. Absolutely, positively, yes, all across the board. I want to sleep with you because I want to sleep with you because I think you're attractive because I'm attracted to you. Right. Uh, not because you're offering me anything. Not because you're telling me you're not gonna. I'm not gonna get this role if I don't do something. Like if just it, consent is consent all across the board. That's right. what it should be. Right. So I'm not. I don't feel bad. Hundred percent. I just see. want another word to define this abuse of power role because it is fundamentally different. We have murder. Right? Yeah. And then, and then we have manslaughter. Yeah. Right? And those are different things. And I like woman slaughter. Woman. Don't sound serious. I like <laughs> that, that word. worse. No, but I like that word for shit like this. Sure. Woman slaughter. Some kind of slaughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I there like should that word. be some kind of slaughter because it, it, if you notice in like uh, murder cases, right? If they don't think they can get the murder charge, they'll do murder in the third degree or something, right? There are multiple degrees. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So maybe it should be that. Exactly. So if we have... Maybe it should be like raping the first degree, raping the second degree, raping the third degree. They kind of have those. So so, so let's let's lean into that and let's create a different name for it. By the way, they might have that. I don't know. Al, you saying they have it? He got what? Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? So we're just now, talking. By the way, it's called the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. We, we have no know. idea what we're talking we about. We don't know what we're talking about. Right. But they should just have a different name for what it is because it's a fundamentally different thing. You're yeah. giving somebody a choice. The whole idea of rape, to me, is removing their choice. You either do that by blacking them out. You either do that by forcing them. But you're removing their choice. You have a choice not to be in Shakespeare in love. Don't you think that some of these people feel like they don't have a choice, though? It, acting is not a real job. It's not a job. You got to stop saying that. It's not it real. Is, it, it's not it's, real. It's, it's not real. It's definitely a real job. It's not real. It's not real. So what you're it's essentially saying is you it's can not make those propositions because you don't think it's a real job. Yeah. No, it's not how it Well, works. no, you can't make those propositions. No, I don't think okay. you can make those propositions at all. That's abuse of power. That being said, it's not a job. Well, forget if acting, forget if acting is a job or not. Yeah. When you put somebody in that position yeah. and you say, you have to suck my dick in order to get this role. Yeah. That's not right, bro. No, that's unethical. I'm not saying it's right. Yeah, it's yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, let's have a different name for it. 
There's yeah. uh, we have tons of different names for wrong shit. There's yeah. grand larceny. There's theft. There's mis right. Like we yeah. have all these different names, and we got one name. I think abuse of power is a good. I mean, abuse, abuse of power is a good term for it. Great, because um, when you're in the courtroom, you just got to break down what that abuse of power was. Yo, and here's the great thing about. And I think I'm gonna be honest go, with you. Go, go. You may have to register as a sex offender. I'll tell you why. Because you're abusing your power in order to get sex. To me, that is offensive. Yo, you know what? I'm I'm with you Straight with that. Up. I no, think, I'm with you I with think that. I like that. Wouldn't that offend you, Jack Taylor, if you was an actress? Not even if an actress. If you work in, you work in radio and somebody said, in order to get this promotion, you got to do X, Y, and Z sexual affair. Wouldn't you be offended? Yes. Not so, even promotion. In order to get the job here. Yes. You would say, I don't want to work here, right? Yes. Because that's the logical, smart thing to do. Now, yes. wait a minute. Go. Yeah. What if they're offering you a half a million dollars a year? I just want to throw that out there. I want you to think about what you're doing now and how much you're making. They're offering you some life, I guess at the moment, I won't say life changing. It's life changing. Mm -hmm. Half a million dollars a year for five years. That's five, one, two, I don't know. To that's do five, one. That's a couple million. To, I don't to, fucking know. To, to, yes, to watch him jerk off into a fern. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that thing. I don't care. Yeah, a lot of girls did. They chose to do that. And no. Chris just fucking Time sneezed. Out. Chris just fucking sneezed. Chris. And no, everybody missed it. Chris. He waited. For, he waited for Taylor to laugh. Chris. And he tried to sneak a fucking Chris. sneeze into his collar. We're Chris. infected. Don't make We're me all be infected. Racist, Chris. We're all infected. It's going Chris. fucking down. Chris, how dare you? Oh, God. Now, listen, what Taylor said is very important just now. Taylor, what did you say? I asked to do what? You said if the guy said he wanted to drug off in the front, whatever, whatever, you said what? Sure, I don't care. It's now, a good what if, deal. No, but what if 20 years later? Yes. Taylor's thinking about that and how disgusting it was. Yes. Right? Yeah. You regret doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you hear about this guy having done this to other women. Right. Now you feel like it's your duty to step up. We'll give the money back. Give the mm. job back. You took the job, right? Mm. You took the career, right? You made millions of dollars off the career, right? Mm. You're not going to give that back. Okay. Right? Like, I'm all about wiping the record clean, but we're not going to do this 20 years later. You know, now that I think about that, other girls didn't like this, and you know what? My acting but career you live and you learn, isn't though. going the way I like, wanted like, it to go. Like, even me, like, I got molested when I was eight. Yeah. I didn't think it was wrong at the time, but when I got older, I realized, like, it was content. I mean, what? Shut up, man. <laughs> yeah. When I got older, I realized, like, like, yo, that was fucked up. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Even the person that was. But you weren't given a choice, Charla. That's the thing. You weren't given a choice, and that's why it's fucked up. If somebody at 21 asked you to do the same thing, you'd be like, no. I feel like I'm in therapy right now because I feel like all of these situations are intertwined because the way that woman made me feel at eight is the same way that other woman made me feel at 20-something. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It took me back right to that place. And you didn't really have a choice in the other one. You go to a job interview for the worst job ever, you decide to take it or not. You have to live with part of that decision. Yeah. The choice is yours. Yeah. If there's any holding down... Now, here's a different type of situation, right? Talking to my boy F.A. about this one. Because I was, I just want him to break down this. Here's the situation. You're living with a guy, Taylor, right? That guy is allowing you to live with him for free because he thought that you guys were friends or you thought that you guys were friends. And eventually, he's like, hey, if you want to keep living here for free, you got to have sex with me. Fucked up. To me, you don't have a choice in that situation. No, no, no. You have a family. You have you have places to go. You have friends. But there are girls that might not. So now you it's either I'm homeless or I have a house. Now that choice isn't there. What I'm trying to say is being in a movie or not being in a movie is not life or death. But, uh, you see what, what I'm saying? What, like, you're, what, you're, what you're explaining right now, Schultz, yeah. is, is exactly the reason why Harvey Weinstein got 23 years. Because you shouldn't prey on people like that. Dude. Like you're a predator. Like, so like, here, here's, here's I just want to clarify. Lock him the fuck up. Abuse of power, disgusting what yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Should never put women or men in that situation at all. Lock him up. All I'm saying is we have to define what things are so that we, the people, know how to operate accordingly. Well, I'm sure it is. I mean, I, I just I'm just I'm just not well versed on it. I'm sure that it's rape. I'm sure it's rape in the first degree, second degree, third degree. I'm, I'm, I'm not can't even say I'm sure. I don't know. I'm right. just assuming. I'm I know it's sexual assault. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. know it's different levels. To se sexual misconduct, you know what I'm saying? Like it's different levels to all of this stuff, but yeah. I just don't think I think that's so whack when people abuse their power in that way, especially with people that are kind of defenseless. Like if your woman is if a woman's living with you and she has no place to stay, and you make her sleep with you for oh, room and bro. board, you are a piece of fucking piece of shit. shit. Go to jail. You got to go to jail, and that that's why that's illegal. That is 100 percent illegal. But I don't know if it's illegal.
to say, hey, if you want to be in this movie, I want you to give me some head. I don't know if that's illegal. I'm just talking about this legally. I'd love to have a lawyer in to break it down. Me too. Now nah, I'm with you. Hashtag. Let's get Ebony. Oh, I don't know. If, is Ebony a criminal lawyer? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring Ebony in here. Yes. Let's do it. All right, let's pay some bills. That, okay. was, a good, that was a good deep dive. Okay, guys. Guys. You know what time it is. Oh, this is very exciting. I want to share this with you. Um, CBD. Charlamagne, are you on the CBD? Am I on CB fucking D? I can't sleep without it. Oh, I need to hook you up with Radish, that shit dog. Helps me, that shit helps me with my fucking anxiety. That, I, I take it every night before I go to bed. Okay. I do the I do the drops. I do the gummies. Yep. I do fucking... I put the lotion on my joints. I love CBD. Dude, you got to get uh, Radix Remedies. Radix Remedies is the only place to go to get CBD, premium CBD. That's the place where I get all my CBD. That's the joint. I don't know if you guys uh, saw the video where we got Akash high. You know what no. I mean? No. Well, we were smoking what we thought was CBD, and maybe they found a way to sneak some weed in that shit. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but uh, Radix Remedies, I'm telling you, amazing CBD company. They've been sponsoring Flagrant 2 for a while. That's the official sponsor for CBD for Flagrant 2, and I'm glad we got them over here on Brilliant Idiots. Um, they've got some amazing stuff. They sell pre-rolled joints, so you can actually have like the weed smoking experience, but really? without the THC high. Um, they also sell just like the nugs, the flower of it, so you can roll your own stuff. Uh, but then they also have the uh, tincture, I think there is, the drops is what they're called. Mm -hmm. They have gummies. They have literally everything you can imagine. You go to RadixRemedies.com. You check out all the stuff they have. They have this new thing called NeuroRoot that I want to um, uh, actually get my pops on. But it basically is the active ingredient is, is choline, right? And it improves mood, memory, cognitive function. Uh, it's very similar to, uh, uh, Joe Rogan has a company, uh, called on it and he has a uh, alpha brain okay. and it's the same thing that, that operates in alpha brain. The only difference is this choline is backed on the CBD. So instead of getting digested in your stomach, it's digested in the receptors in your brain. So it actually operates faster and, um, it's fucking sick, man. You just go check it out. You can go to Radix remedies, R A D I X remedies.com slash idiots. Use the promo code idiots. You get 10% discount on your entire order. That's Radix remedies.com slash idiots go there check out some stuff they got monthly options as well it's great man i really mean it i stand by it let's get back to the show do we have any church announcements oh yeah man big news um i spoke to production uh all four of the uh, special shows in la are sold out april 11th and 12th but i spoke to the production because a lot of people have been asking and uh we moved some stuff around uh and so that we could create some more seats man so we opened up a few rows of seats in each of the shows they just went on sale uh, yesterday. TheAndrewSchultz.com. Go. You got the link. You can come Saturday or Sunday, April 11th or 12th. Go get them shits immediately. And um, and then uh, we got some shows coming up, man. Orlando's all sold out, but make sure you check out. Uh, we're going to be in Virginia Beach. I think we have a couple tickets left. Charlotte, Minneapolis, Minnesota. We had a second show at the Fillmore Theater. And then the Paps Theater in Milwaukee. Make sure you check out that. And then Tucson, the Rialto Theater. Tucson, last show before the special. Come on out to those shows, man. Uh, TheAndrewShows.com for tickets. All right. Those are the church announcements. Um, I want to I want to do one more shit you won't care about next week before Please. we get into Ask an Idiot. Please. Um, Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love says she made her man sign an NDA. You got the audio, Taylor? Let me hear this. Let me hear this audio of Lonnie Love saying she makes her man sign an NDA. If you know you coming up in the world and things are happening, because you notice how now all of a sudden, uh, like Jessica Simpson and all of them are writing these books mm -hmm. and they telling their everything. side of the story and everything. If you, possibly if they had an NDA, they couldn't do that because that can ruin your brand. Maybe before going into a serious relationship, you should consider an NDA. I have one. That, I made she, it's James not going to stand. One. You I, did. Yes. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You yeah. made James sign one? Yeah, because the NDA isn't for him. It's because of the people around him. Mm. What does that mean? I understand why Lonnie Love uh, made her man sign an NDA. Uh, I don't trust white men either, so I can understand why she would do that. And, Wait, and, number, and number two, <laughs> why would you? Why would you sign? Why would you? Her, her man's white. Yeah. Why would you let? <laughs> why would you? <laughs> <laughs> Got why, one. Why would you make your Got man? One. Why would you make your man sign an NDA? Because you don't trust the people around him. Wouldn't you make the people around him sign an NDA? Yeah, they haven't signed the NDA. They can do whatever they want. They can do whatever want. the fuck they want, Lonnie. I don't think that makes any sense. I think that she doesn't want her brand fucked up, and she might feel the same way about the whites as you do. 
And uh, that's what's going down. Yeah. I mean, the, I don't know. That's the game. The game is, okay, I need you to sign this NDA. As I started to say this NWA. <laughs> <N-double-A-C-K>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need you to sign this NDA because I don't trust the people around you. That's like when Kevin Hart. That makes Hart, no sense. Kevin Hart's, <laughs> Kevin Hart's ass was a man. I wouldn't have cheated if I had my boys around me. Yes. <laughs> that shit was silly. That's the Kevin's funniest my shit man. I ever heard in my life. Kevin's bro. my man. But hey, that- bro. Hey, if my boys were there to slap my dick out of this girl, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't have cheated, bro. That's, That's a weak a- excuse. I would never tell my girl that. That's like Bill Clinton saying that he fucking let Monica give him head because of anxiety. Now. Nah, he was feeling anxious, But bro. listen, we all know. By the way. Come on, bro. That crime bill wasn't it, working. Two things can be wrong. Two, th- I mean, like one thing can be true but not true, right? Okay. Head does relieve anxiety. Thank you. But it got to be from your wife's mouth. What? When you're married. <laughs> what are you talking it about? It got to be from your wife's mouth. Come it can't on. be the mistress. Did it you watch can't... the Hillary doc? What? Did you watch the Hillary doc? I don't like her. Nah, it was good. <laughs> it was good. It was good. You should it watch was it. it. It was good. It was good. It was good. Did they go to the Epstein Island? No Epstein Island. Oh, uh-huh. But I don't it was care. good. Um, I, I think the reason that they did this doc is... I was with my, my my homie yesterday, um, you know, Jan Miller. She's my book agent. Me, Jan, and Nina, and Karen, and my wife was out yesterday. And um, Jan asked me why, um, why did Hillary even do the doc? And I said, I think she did it because she thought she was going to be in her, running for her second term, right? Because mm. it, it's, it's shot all during the campaign. It shows her on the campaign trail. It shows her running for president, all of that. And I thought that she was thinking... She would be in her second, she'd be running for her second term as president, Mm -hmm. put this out on Hulu. It's a great promo. Mm. But things didn't go the way she thought they would go. No. Still got to do the, Hulu still got to put their content out, baby. You know what I mean? And that's what I think happened. But it's a good documentary. It shows a lot of interesting things. It shows how like messaging is very important. For example? For example, um, Hillary's people around her telling her like, yo, just say, just say you're going to give away free health care. Just say you'll give free health care. Mm. And she's like, no, I'm not going to do that to the American public. I'm not going to do things that I know we can't do. Like, it's ways to get more affordable health care or it's ways to make, um, you know, certain colleges, the, the, uh, it's a way to make certain colleges tuition free, but we can't do all free health care, all free college. That's just not real. So it shows her talking to this crowd of people and she's going in the weeds with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm going to do this with healthcare and this will make this affordable and that affordable. And everybody just staring like, then it flashes to Bernie. Free healthcare, free college. Woo! Crowd going crazy. So it just shows how messaging is very important. But you don't think this is put out to be a shot against Bernie? This is the Democratic establishment nah. going, hey, look how ridiculous it is nah. to offer those things. Bernie is such a small piece of this documentary, bro. It's really more of a shot to... It's actually more of a shot to the Clintons. It's oh. not it's not it's not something that makes them look like this almighty family that got everything Ooh. right. It's actually the exact opposite. The only thing I they now brushed by I didn't like, they brushed by the crime bill thing. Uh. No, they didn't they brushed by it when they spoke about it. They 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 set it up really nice, but their reactions to it were like really kind of kind of brief. What they say? Um, it was just something that they got wrong. You know, it was it was it, it was. They thought it was going to be a good idea. People wanted crime to be reduced in the the black community. You know, the CBC and a lot of black leaders wanted some sort of you know justice to be happening in those communities, and they thought they would provide it, but they they just basically got it wrong. Mm. Got it wrong. But I mean, they didn't. I don't know. I just feel like they could have went a little bit more in depth on that. But I thought it was a great, great document. What er, what got you to watch it? That's what I'm. What gets us to watch any of this shit that's on these fucking... You know why? Because I pay for Hulu. Our wives? <laughs> so I, well, I pay for Hulu. So it's like Hulu got some shit like that. I'm going to watch it. So I'm, you made the choice to watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It's quick. It's only four episodes, two, four one-hour episodes. That's a lot, dude. No, 13 is a lot. Netflix, stop it. I don't have the time <laughs> to commit to 13 one-hour episodes uh. or nothing. Stop. I like the four to six. Give me four to six, I'll be all in on a lot more shit. I didn't watch the last two seasons of Orange is the New Black, and I loved Orange is the New Black. I just don't have the time. Right. But 13 fucking hours? No, yeah. man. Give me give me one, give me four one-hour episodes of a documentary. I'm cool. Saint Netflix did great with the Who Killed Malcolm X. Six one-hour episodes. Great. I can watch that in a day or yeah. two days and be cool. Yeah. And actually soak the information in. You know what I mean? What do you think's happened with Disney Plus? I love Disney Plus. What do you watch on it? Because it came out so hot and I was bullish 
Al canceled his. You're an idiot. What do they have? Because you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm going to tell you why you're an idiot, Al, because you're not paying attention. First of all, Marvel rollout for Disney Plus. You're going to jump back on their dick. That, listen, <laughs> the Disney, they got so many Marvel shows. If you're a Marvel head, I got it for Marvel, right? If you're a Marvel head, yeah. you have to have Disney Plus now because all the TV shows intertwine with the movies. Yeah, so, so why pay for it now? Pay for it when that shit comes out. Because it might go up. I don't know. I just rather get But for me, it's good and for kids. And then it's going to go up. It might. I got this. no mine, not mine, because I'm good for the next year. I already paid for mine, uh, but for the kids, it's great because it's all Disney shit. So it's all Disney catalog, right? So it's it's all kids stuff. It's mostly kids. It's every it's every Disney movie you could ever fucking imagine. Everything. But like, what movies are you rewatching? There, Disney, Lion King. I mean, all that like shit. You, just, you watch those a lot. It's classic shit, and they got National Geographic on there. Proud Family. They they relaunching the Proud Family. Like this, that Disney Plus is popping. It's gonna come to a point where that's all I'm gonna have. But you guys haven't named a single show you're watching on it. I'm going to watch Captain America versus Winter Soldier. That's gonna. I'm going to watch. That comes out this fall. But I'm it's go- not out yet. Comes out in the fall. I, on, I literally it's only spring. bought it. I only bought it for the Marvel shows. They got She Hulk coming. They got Scarlet Witch coming. They got Hawkeye coming. They, they got, got the Loki She-Hulk? show. Yes. They got the Loki show. Does anybody want that? Yes. They got the What Is. What is She Hulk? Just She Hulk is a lawyer uh, who's going Bruce Banner's, menopause. Bruce Banner's cousin. Right. Um, and she's got the same powers as the Hulk, but she's smart. So she's like, she's like Professor Hulk all the time. So she has her brains and does the, she turn the into cock. the Hulk? Huh? Does she turn into the Hulk? Yes, she turns into the Hulk at her discretion or when she's at mad? her discretion. I think uh, she she kind of stays in her character a lot more than, any, than what's more. that? She stays in her character. She's always in Hulk. Yeah, she likes to be in the Hulk mode. And the interesting thing about her is that like, there's only two lawyers in the Marvel universe. It's like Daredevil and her. Yeah. So it's like they get all the clients. Interesting, yeah. but that, but that's why I have Disney Plus. I have Disney Plus literally for Marvel. See, I think if Disney was smart, they would have dropped. Man, I think they would have waited. Star Dro- Wars. Well, I the think whole the, Star Wars catalog is one hundred percent. But what I'm thinking is they drop Mandalorian, and then right when Mandalorian is done, they drop a Marvel show. Now, I, listen, everything should have been on the rollout. I, right now, you have this big <laughs> gap, and you lost all the heat. Son, come on, son. Alex. Come on. What's this? What's going on, bro? <laughs> what be, is that? Might be the Heineken virus. What Listen, is it? <laughs> might, not quite Corona, but it might be the Heineken virus. Listen, I agree with you. I said the same thing. When Disney Plus came out, they should have had at least one Marvel show ready to go. Now, what I think they should have done, this is me. I would have had the What If series ready to go. What If is an animated cartoon that Marvel is doing where it, sh- it shows what if, like, Captain America would have got bitten by the spider. You know what I'm saying? Instead of Spider-Man, shit like that. I would have had that ready to go. That would have kept everybody. That would have, that would have kept everybody cool until Captain America Winter Soldier was ready to roll out. Now, Captain America Winter Soldier, yes, is a show mm-hmm. starring Anthony Mackie and um Sebastian, the guy that plays Bucky in fucking um Oh, it's really? The, it's the this is this shit is the Marvel universe just on TV. Like they're using actual characters. They should have had that ready to go, B. They should have had that ready Takes to go. Takes time. And and I'm gonna tell you why they're smart. They're only doing six episodes. And this shit is the budget of fucking movies. That's so they're great. doing it's gonna be great. No, that's great. But like they should have had it ready to go. Alex. But I'll get it back, the, nah, he's gonna get it back. It's just Yeah, because they had all this heat. They came right for Netflix neck. And Mandalorian killed everybody. Fuck with Mandalorian, and now is dead in the water. I don't, I'm not gonna say it's dead. There's they, nothing there. You just said Lion King. Catalog is crazy though. You got Lion all, King, Star Wars. You don't watch Star Disney. Wars. I don't, but America loves Star Wars. Shit, I don't drink coffee, but America loves coffee. You don't drink coffee? Hell no. Why not? And Star Wars is the coffee of movies. God damn it, <laughs> motherfuckers love Star Wars, bro. I guess. You don't Star Wars, Alex? I like it. No, man. Let's do some asking idiots, man. Oh, before we do that, we oh, got go. one more bill to pay. Guys, oh, okay. get your shirts right, man. You ever wonder why traditional button-ups look so long and baggy? It's because they were never meant to be worn that way. Untucked shirts were specifically designed to be worn untucked. Untucked is the brand that you've been looking for. Stop looking like a doofus out there, okay? This is the original untucked shirt, a modern solution to an old problem with no tucking or tailored required, okay? Look respectable. You're going to go meet your girlfriend's parents, okay? You're going to go out to dinner. You're going to have a nice night. You're going to do something where you need to look nice, but you don't want your shirt tucked into your pants the entire time, bunching up, folding. Get and untuck it. It's as simple as that. No tailoring, tucking required. Who the fuck is That's 
It's right there. Oh, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? What happened? Man, I thought we was getting spied on. I get a fucking text from <laughs> to me and Schultz <laughs> that says it is not okay to make a job contingent on sex. This applies in the context of new hires as well as existing employees. <laughs> this is known as quid pro quo sexual harassment in Title Seven of the Civil Rights Act, among other things, makes this illegal. I was like, did somebody go live and not tell us? <laughs> I got your number saved, but not under. Nope. <laughs> I, got, I got Alex Media. I got Alex Media, not. Come on, son. Is wow. <laughs> so he don't like his real Bro. name out there. Who? Uh, I wouldn't want it either. <laughs> I, I have no problem with that, Alex. <laughs> They think you. They think both of y'all white when y'all check in. Andrew Schultz and his friends. <laughs> Yo, that's a wild name, Alex. Untuck it, guys. Don't just take our word for it. Try it. Untuck it for yourself. Visit untuckit.com and use the code idiots. You get 20% off your first order. Just let me get through this. They even <laughs> offer free shipping returns on all orders in the U.S. That's U N T U C K I T.com. Promo code idiots for 20% per- off. Percent off your first order. What does order. this say? What does this say? <laughs> this is Alex Media. Alex Media. So why God wanted me to see that just now? Why did your name come through? His th- what does that say? <sighs> what does it say? Alex Media. Yes. Yeah, so why the fuck did we get a text from? You didn't get. <laughs> no, I have his number safe. Look what my shit says. <laughs> my shit says. <laughs> my, shit, my shit says. <laughs> oh no! I got it. I got it. It's at the iCloud. That's why it's the email. You text from the email. You better switch that up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> better switch that up. <laughs> what's the unsend? That's what Alex wish you could do right now. He wish you could unsend that fucking text he just sent me. No, nah, what's unsend? Apple is starting to unsend messages. Like, or they're going to put it in Yeah. Wait a minute. You could text someone and take it back? She won't matter if they already screenshotted it, B. Once they screenshot it, it's shot it. Shorty is like a melody let's pay some in bills, my man. head. No, we paid. I mean, not pay some bills. Let's pay. Uh, let's do, do ask, ask an idiot. idiot. Yes. All right, you got some ask an idiot. Okay. Where? Hey there, Delilah. I have something on my genitals. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> got okay. The black sheep at James said. Should the black community truly expect a politician to have a black agenda if we're not willing to pay for the politician? That's an interesting question. Um, I like I like the question. I like the last part. But he said, it, if we're it, not willing to pay for the politician. Explain what he politician. means, pay for the politician. He means like having a lobby. Having, yeah. You know, being a lobbyist. Yes, I do Get think. I do C-Pac or yeah. those fucking things. We need are. a two-pack. Y'all you know need a two-pack. Yeah, I do. I, 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 be, I believe that. I believe that... Uh, we should have a black New Deal. Same way climate change, people got the Green New Deal. Mm. We should have a black New Deal. And I mean, yeah, we should put our money where our mouth is. But the reason I think that, you know, politicians should have black agendas, especially Do you fucking Democrats. Call it the Black New Deal, though? Why not? Well, because we've stopped dealing blacks. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> this guy is so crazy. <laughs> what? What's wrong with this what? guy? <laughs> we, we did, abolished it in 1865, so dude. It's the Black New Deal. It's oh, like the New Deal. Okay, New okay, deal. okay, 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 gotcha. okay. Um, but, um... <laughs> Yeah, I think that Democrats definitely need to have a black agenda because black people have been such a loyal voting base to them. And when you're somebody like Joe Biden, as I said on MSNBC this week on my man Craig Melvin show, when you're somebody like Joe Biden, who has been the vice president to the first black president, when black people saved your political life Mm. the past two weeks, Jim Clyburn coming out endorsing you, all those older black voters in South Carolina coming out voting for you, all the older black voters in the South coming out voting for you. Yes, you should have a fucking black agenda. I mean, like, I'm not even going to get, I don't even have to get into the fact that you made the 86 crack laws and the 94 crime bill. And, you know, you need to be doing something to rectify those situations. Just the fact that because of black people, your, your whole political, Joe Biden's whole political existence is rooted in blackness. It absolutely is. From being Barack's vice president to the way the voters came out and supported him. He's never won a primary before ever and has ran for president three times. Never won one fucking state. Until a black man endorsed you and all those older black voters 
went and voted for you in South Carolina. Yes, he needs a black agenda. And how tone deaf can you be when Mayor Pete has a black agenda, the Douglas plan? Mayor Bloomberg had a black agenda, the Greenwood Initiative. Elizabeth Warren had a black agenda. All your 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 opponents have black agendas, but you, Mr. Who Jim Clyburn called an honorary black man, which I think is the stupidest shit in the world, you definitely should have a black you agenda. You know, his uh I think Chief of staff or like head of the campaign is black. Who is this? Simone Sanders. Simone is Simone is is his uh, senior advisor and head of security. Salute Not to security. Simone. No security. Uh, salute to Simone Sanders. Oh, you ain't seen Simone lately. <laughs> Simone fucking people up. <laughs> not head of security. Simone body shot. slammed the anti dairy protester, bro. No, she did not. <laughs> what? You ain't seen that video? No. Taylor, show him. Simone Rush, listen, oh. first of all, I didn't know vice presidents didn't have secret service. You know, that's when I first met Simone. Simone used to work for Bernie. I think she was Bernie's senior advisor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-huh. And um, she she serious. she used to have me doing a lot of stuff with Bernie in 2016. Um, she's actually bringing Joe on to Breakfast Club because, uh, you know, a lot of the black surrogates have been blocking Joe. Hey. But Simone's not a surrogate. Simone's a staffer. So that's, ah. who, so that's, who should have, that's who I should have been hollering at to begin with. You know what I'm saying? I never hollered at her, but the surrogates were hollering at me. And Simone hit me up to let me know, no, motherfucker, Joe's coming on the show. What is a surrogate? Um, I don't know what an official title for surrogate is. I guess it's like, a, what do they do? Does an ambassador, explain? so to speak. Like, they go around talking about your campaign and why people should vote for you. They stomp for you, shit like that. Oh, you know and, what I mean? And they didn't want you to talk to Joe. They were definitely keeping Joe away. But like I said, I was talking to the wrong people. You know, Simone mm-hmm. said they wanted it to happen. Um, so... We're going to see. Yes. Watch Simone. Watch Simone rush that goddamn stage. Watch Simone, bro. Watch her come across the line. That's the wrong one, Taylor. No, is that the right one? No, nah, that's St. Louis. That's a different one. No, nah, that's a different one. Simone, Simone, she intervened in that too, though. They had to pick her off the ground. Somebody hit her in the head. <laughs> Wait, what? No, they, for real. They Simone her active, out? bro. Simone active, bro. Need a black woman. Simone active, bro. Need a black woman, bro. Simone active. Simone is active out here. You know what I'm saying? But to answer your question, Mm -hmm. yes, they need a black agenda just because they've been loyal to the Democratic Party for so long. And I know people say, oh, you should have all candidates. All candidates should have a a black agenda. I don't expect Trump to have a black agenda. You know why I don't expect Trump to have a black agenda? Because Trump don't owe us shit. Democrats owe black people. Bottom line, point blank, period. So Why why do Democrats owe black people? For the, for, for we've been their, their most loyal fan base for years. Mm. And once again, where would Joe Biden be without black voters? His numbers are crazy. It's like 70% yeah. of all the black voters voting for him all throughout the South. Where would he be without black voters? Yeah. Where would he have been without a, a co-sign from OG Jim Clyburn? Where would he be without President Barack Obama? Yeah. And the fact, once again, 86 crack laws, 94 crime bill. You hurt a lot of black people, Joe. So now it's time for you to create some legislation that helps black people. You know how you start that? Fucking apology. The best apology is change behavior and in a, and, and a black agenda. Oh, yes. Watch, watch the moon. Watch the moon come across the middle. But who's coming at him? I'm trying to see who's coming at him. What are you at? looking at, Taylor? That's the wrong oh, video. I don't know. I just saw her. Look. That's, her That's her right there in the striped oh. shit. Right there. That's it. Oh, Carrying. Picked her up. It. Picked her up. I love Simone it. Simone picked her up. Up Get and carry her out. Woman, it's another bro. angle when they coming down the stairs and the anti-dairy protester is struggling a little bit, and Simone just gave her a little slam. Boom. Boom. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> I love it. What the fuck is up with anti-dairy protesters, though? I'm gonna be honest with you though. You shouldn't be tackled just because you're lactose intolerant. Like, I mean, goddamn. <laughs> like, why what 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 do they why do they why do the anti-dairy protesters keep raiding Joe Biden? What has Joe Biden done to cows that we don't know about? <laughs> Like, seriously, they keep anti dairy protesters keep interrupting Joe Biden. Why, Why? is he big, like, support of the dairy industry or something? Yeah, I don't know. So, the dairy thing is kind of, uh, I guess it's kind of like fucked up. People think it's immoral because, in order to have milk, the cow has to believe it's pregnant. So, they basically impregnate the cow and then take the baby from it and then squeeze the milk out of the other like, my whole life I just thought cows just had milk all the time interesting right but they don't they're just like you you don't you'll have breast milk once you're giving interesting. birth interesting so they basically are impregnating these cows non-stop taking their kids away so they can constantly be producing milk so that we can drink it so a lot of people are like yo it's one thing to eat these motherfuckers it's another thing to be just ripping babies out of them why wouldn't just... you let them raise their calves though say what why wouldn't you let them raise their calves uh, because the calves will require the milk. 
And that veal. That veal ain't that no veal, joke. That yeah, veal. Hey, that hits different, that don't it? That veal tasty, bro, bro. That veal hits different, huh? <laughs> that veal hits different, that huh? Veal. Here's something. Talk to me. Which commodity do you think... Actually, can I ask an idiot? Can I ask a question to ask an idiot? Yeah. Are you excited by the coronavirus in, in, in a weird way? No. <laughs> I don't like fear. I'm excited. By I don't it. like fear. I don't like panic. I don't... Because... Cause, I, I don't like fear. I don't like panic. And I don't like knowing if something is really serious or not. And I don't like thinking that things could get worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I hear you on that level. I'm not excited about it. It does nothing for me. I think that... I think that what it does, for me, and maybe excited is the wrong word, but like, I think that we just get used to being alive. Right? Like, this is how the world used to be Less than maybe a hundred years ago, it was like, "Am I going to die because I got a cold?" Yeah, like that's just how people lived, and like so, every day was survival. Like, yeah, you went to work and you did these things, but you're also like, "I got to survive." And in many parts of the world to this day, it's like, "I can't get malaria. I got to survive. I can't. I got to food." So, I think something weird got triggered in me with this Corona thing, where it's just like, "Okay, wash your hands." Make sure you're doing things. And I think my brain was like, oh, we're on survival mode, baby. Like, let's get this. Let's do it. And I got kind of like energized and hungered by it. Like my humanity kind of came back, you know? I'm not, I'm not mad at you for that mentality. I, I, I would, I mean, I don't know. I, I think I've started to live my life like it's a miracle every day. So you you've, know you've adopted this, this survival strategy or like gratitude strategy. I think I've graduated out of the survival mode strategy. Right. And my mindset is just like, yo, life is a miracle. I'm thankful for every single fucking day. So so I was thinking about that. It was like, I think that we have to be. So if you look at like who does gratitude exercises, like every billionaire does a gratitude exercise when they wake up. Right. And I think what you have to do is you're preparing yourself for the unnatural life you're living, which is a life that doesn't involve survival. Yeah. Right. So like our brains don't know what to do when we know we're going to survive that day. So we have to go, how can I trick my brain into being okay that nothing's wrong? Yo, it's, it's wild. Gratitude, right? I think, is a, is a way to do that. Well, I think, I think you should just have gratitude because, you know, you should just appreciate where you are in that moment. You should just be thankful for the life sure. that we're living right now. And the reason I say that is but because- But you have luxury, man. You can't tell someone's starving in Haiti. Yo, be grateful you're starving. I mean, I, you can look at the bright side and say you're alive, though. Like if the if the goal you know what is I'm the, saying, yeah, I get though, right? you, but a, I get you. But if the goal is to be alive, right? I think that's yeah. the luxury of America. Luxury of America is the goal is just to be alive. It is is being alive is so great? Yeah, that's the thing. So we can have this thing called gratitude. You know what I mean? Because yeah. even being alive here, you're gonna be all right. You can get food stamps if you need food. You can get a place to stay. And if coronavirus you need a place to stay. makes it seem like we don't know if we're gonna be all right. There we go. We and I know. think it triggers this survival thing and even though we're going to be most of us are going to be fine the you know the reality is is this affects you know older people and younger healthier people are going to be fine that being said there's this part of you that's like hey i'm 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 still an animal at the end of the day we look at animals like they're different than us no we're fucking animals dude and we got to go out there and make it it's it's kind of like invigorated me in a way it's wild way. it's wild though because when it comes to survival right like only thing you got to really survive is other people. Because it's not like, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I can't, I can only speak for myself. I'm not jumping out of planes. I'm not swimming right. with sharks. I'm not in the jungle hunting. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing shit to yeah. put myself in that kind of danger. I'm not wa tightrope, tightrope walking across the Grand, what's that canyon. shit called? The Grand Canyon. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hit the, what the brother Lenard is trying to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's what brother Leonard is saying. Yeah. Grand Canyon, right? So I'm not taking those kind of risks. So for me, the only thing that we got to survive is just other people. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then what about, like I said, Kobe, man. When you look at a situation like that, what did... Heck, Kobe was actually trying to make his life easier by getting in that helicopter and getting where they had to go, trying to mm -hmm. save 10, 15 minutes, whatever the fuck it was. So I just don't know, man. I just, I just think that every day is a miracle. He, it would say, tell us ask, ask the question don't you think ever since Kobe's dead that yeah that I mean not, not even just that, that Nipsey but even even before Nipsey uh, I, I felt like that because like that's all you want when you got kids all you want to do is be able to grow old to watch your kids yeah you know what I'm saying grow to a decent age and make something of themselves I can clock out after that 
Yeah. No, straight up. I can clock out. I, I, I can. I'm good. Like if if I had a son your age or a child your age, and they, I saw them doing what it is that they would wanted to do. I, I'm good. I did my job. So it's just like yo, all we want to do is stay alive at the end of the day. So between Nipsey and Kobe, yes, I definitely wake up every day. And I'm like yo, life is a fucking miracle. I am happy to be here. Fuck all, fuck all that YOLO shit, all that you only live once and motherfuckers trying to front to be young. No, I earned all my 41 years mm. and I want I want 91. Yes. Let me get them all. You know what I'm saying? So let's do another Ask an Idiot. Um, Jonathan Robinson says, which commodity do you think is most important to society? The wheel or the internet? It's a good one. The wheel. The wheel. Not even close. It the really wheel. changed the game, man. I mean, you can't get a plane off the ground without a wheel. Like, think about how interconnected, like, the, what the internet did is, I guess, like, it made us even closer to each other. But the first thing that did that was the wheel. I yeah. Mean, come on. Dude. Yeah. Like, the way the wheel changed the world. Cars, bicycles, motorcycles, planes. Horse and carriage. Chairs. Like, horse and carriage. Like, moving your couch. You would have to carry yeah, that shit yes. with a bunch of people back yes. in the day. Yes. Like You couldn't migrate nowhere. Nowhere. The wheel. Wheel is way more important than the internet. You know why? The wheel serves a purpose. I don't I don't I really don't think the internet does yet. I think the internet is gonna do way more harm than good. The wheel has aged very well. Oh yeah. I don't think the internet is gonna age as well as the wheel, bro. Well, the wheel is an interesting one because it is clearly an invention, but it hasn't lost its value over time. It's kind of yeah. wild, isn't it? Like every invention, even like a pen has lost its value, right? We write our notes in our phone, but the wheel has maintained its value throughout time. Bro, yes. Might be like the most genius invention ever. And let's be clear. If you're in a plane and you can't land because the wheels don't come out, or if you're in your ah. car and you got a flat tire, that shit feel that shit feels way worse than fucking your internet going yeah. down. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if my internet goes down. Like, oh, okay, you know, you trip for a second, but you would much rather have your internet go down than be on the side of the road with a fucking flat tire. <laughs> your wheel go down at twelve thirty. Yeah. I'm serious. Are you yeah. in a plane and they can't fucking land? Yeah. Got, the wheels can't come out. Fuck that. Greatest the invention ever. Um, I don't know. It might be. I it think might, it might it gotta be, be the greatest. Top three, yo. It might be the greatest invention ever. I was going to say electricity, but it's not like nobody invented that. But the, the harnessing of electricity, the harnessing of fire as so, an energy source. So that's source. another question. It's like, do those things get count? Because it's not like a wheel exists in nature and then you're like, let's replicate that. Maybe a log Maybe mm. like you see a law, like a tree falls and then you can roll the tree a little what or something. What is the history of the wheel? Huh? That's it. Was that it? It was a tree fell and then people were rolling the a tree? Stone, a round stone, maybe. Interesting. Say again? The only other thing that's close is a boat. Dude, boat. Clear nah, invention. Nah, fuck them boats, B. Son. <laughs> We'd have been in Africa cooling. Yeah, fuck them boats, dude. We'd have fucked them boats. <laughs> We'd have been in Africa minding our goddamn business. Fuck them boats. Yeah, you're right. Stone. Yeah. It is pretty unbelievable, man. That might be that might be one of the best. That might be the best invention ever. Yo, um, we're gonna end Stone. on this one. Ted Bundy too. You got to change your your Twitter name, bro. Do you see this motherfucker's Twitter name? What is it? At Rape Lover. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, Ted Bundy too? And he says, what was y'all reaction to the Joe Budden crystal beef? There was a Joe Budden crystal beef? When was there a Joe Budden crystal beef? What happened? Or the read, I guess, when they were talking about... Because we were talking about it, and you you were telling Joe, don't have smoke with crystal. I told Joe that? Yes. I forgot what it was I'm, about, I'm pretty man. sure. I, I'm pretty sure I say, I would always tell people not to have smoke with crystal. Mm -hmm. I don't it was remember. when Nefertiti was here, I remember, and they were in the car, and you're like... I'm telling, I don't know what the topic was. Though. Yeah, yeah, you don't want no problems with Crystal. How's Crystal doing? I ain't seen Crystal in a minute. She's great. Are they still doing the pod? Yes. The read is huge. Uh, no, I wouldn't know how big it was. I did. The read has a cock. <laughs> the read podcast is a cock. You hear me? <laughs> okay, that shit is huge as a motherfucker. All right. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know anything about the Joe Budden Crystal beef, but yes, I'm pretty sure I told. If Taylor says I told Joe not to be for Crystal, yeah, I'm pretty sure I said that because I tell everybody that. You don't want no smoke with Hurricane Chris, okay? <laughs> Hurricane Chris. Nice.
All right, that's it. I got a fucking conference call at one fifteen. That's it, guys. That's it, baby. All right, another uh, half decent episode of the Brilliant Idiots <laughs> podcast. You know, I just you just never know. Can't please y'all guys. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Thank you everybody that enjoys it. Everybody that doesn't, I don't know what to fucking tell you. You just come on our SoundCloud every week to tell us you we ain't shit. Like, goddamn. <laughs> All right. But as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. 